Get him a body bag. Yeah. We're talking the Karate Kid and Cobra Kai. Hit it. It was 1984. Michael Jackson's hair caught fire filming a Pepsi commercial. Night Court debuted. Gremlins and Ghostbusters opened on the same day. And Daniel LaRusso trained with Mr. Miyagi to defend himself from bullies and win the All-Valley Karate Championship. I'm your host, Jerry D., with another episode of Totally Rad Christmas, the podcast that talks all things Christmas in the 80s. Toys, movies, specials, music, and fads. If it was gnarly during Christmas in the 80s, we got it covered. Joining me is a Totally Rad Christmas all-star. From the Time Life, Mega Man, and Home Alone episodes, it's my brother Danny. Danny, how's it going? Hey! What's <laughs> long, up? Long what's time. up? What's up? It's been a long time. I know. Sorry. Just, no, me uh, too. It's been, I've so been busy. busy. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. I, I, I was looking forward to this day so much. <laughs> we got we got to up your numbers you're only like you, you, this is only your fourth appearance i know <laughs> i know my dream of becoming the christopher walken or alec baldwin of, of the totally rad podcast is destroyed completely they're, they're fading it's fading fast yeah i just don't listen to the the episodes with that uh <laughs> with, that other guy. with anthony <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> that guy yeah, yeah that checks out that checks out <laughs> <laughs> i'm just joking anthony no i do and he's super funny <laughs> yeah he's a good guy we just did that uh what was it the the halloween that almost wasn't uh, the other day when oh like, i haven't heard that one yet yeah yeah it, it's funny it's the one where dracula goes teeny tiny bat teeny tiny bat teeny tiny bat he turned into a teeny <laughs> tiny bat anyway <laughs> i always love that part <laughs> i think i've heard you quote it before <laughs> never like, actually what are you seen talking it? about it's, <laughs> yeah. it's a it's a bunker special <laughs> okay i gotta listen to it <laughs> oh man but but we're actually here to talk the other christmas question mark movie the karate kid <laughs> like, that's what right you, what are you talking about actually it's perfect because it uh daniel gets beat up and starts training with mr miyagi on halloween and then uh oh. <laughs> and then on um, december 19th is uh, when the all valley tournament happens oh yeah. i didn't yeah. know it was uh in december <laughs> Yeah, and actually in that scene, uh, and we'll we'll get there, but in that scene when when Daniel and Allie make up, you can actually see there's a candy canes and Santas and uh oh, tinsel okay. garland and stuff like that in the background uh when they're at that okay. like golf and stuff place or whatever it's called, the arcade. So could you refresh my memory? What is the actual length of a Christmas clip <laughs> in a movie that makes the movie Christmas? <laughs> so for for my show, if it has a little Christmas in it, I'm counting it. Is it one one if so, frame? It if somebody got it frame? for Christmas one time, it counts. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> so, so I'm you, just teasing. <laughs> so I don't think of Die Hard as a Christmas movie at all, I but know, it, for my show, it. it totally is. Yeah, you need more material. You got it <laughs> exactly. You gotta keep the material. I kind of, I kind of, you know, uh, painted myself into a corner with the whole '80s thing. So, <laughs> no nah, there's still tons of stuff i haven't touched I, like, sure. at all uh there's one we got to do about it's a uh, perry como's special in san antonio so oh yeah okay yeah never heard of that either it's also crazy <laughs> wow cool but, yeah that would be nice so yeah yeah we'll, we'll get you we'll get you on that since you are, are an essay native now <laughs> yeah, are you a that's... san antonian what, what san antonioite what are they called san antonian <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> san antoni san antonis i don't know i just, I just made it up right now I don't yeah know. yeah san and san and texican i don't know <laughs> <laughs> but anyway but anyway we're actually here to talk about uh california 
<laughs> and the oh, Karate yeah, yeah. Kid. So, uh, Rasita. Rasita, yeah, yeah. Rasita. He's from Rasita. <laughs> <laughs> um so yeah what's your uh like, what do you remember about the karate kid like what's your experience with it i actually uh i don't really remember much when i was when i was young and we we're watching it a lot i'm sure on tv or what, wherever we watch it i have no memory of seeing it the first few times it's just i just remember it existing like <laughs> I I, when i was a kid like i just i have memories of just uh you know talking about mr miyagi and and <laughs> daniel and i remember clips and stuff but i didn't actually see the full thing so i was a teenager i think what i think um and i remember when i saw it uh i was just really blown away i was amazed uh with mr miyagi's methods and his advice and the music and the everything the the atmosphere I just remember really being like, wow, like, okay, now I understand why everybody's like, oh, Mr. Miyagi, Mr. Miyagi, because like, yeah, like, I, I, I'm not a movie guy, so I don't really know how to explain all the stuff about movies, but whatever they did, <laughs> the the cinematography and the cinemography and the musicology and the I'm just okay. I'm just messing with you now, but uh, yeah, <laughs> but it's everything. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's just it's just like a wonderful experience, and uh, so I remember being blown away when I was a teenager. Yeah. Do you remember the toys we had? The Karate Kid toys. I don't. I don't actually. <laughs> oh, I don't man. remember them. Yeah, I had Daniel. I think David had uh, Johnny. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and it was cool because it came with like a little. It came with like a little board that, because you know those toys in the eighties, they had like the spring loaded yeah. you know, karate chop <laughs> motions, or and it, you could kick too. But like it came yes. with like a little board, and so you could karate chop it and like break the board. <laughs> That's so cool! I would have loved that. It was pretty cool, yeah. Uh, and I'll never forget. I went as a karate kid one year. I think I've posted that picture before on Facebook, but I'll have to, uh, I'll have to cut myself. Oh out. yeah, I remember that. I remember that. I've seen Heck that picture yeah. many times. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Heck yeah. And I think David was Rambo and I think you were Robin or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which I think is the same Robin costume I wore first. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure. They all, they all got passed I down. was the youngest. <laughs> you got everything yes. yeah, handed down. I'm sorry. What's left. <laughs> I'm sure there were some good costumes that, that uh, weren't around when I was... Uh, sorry, just cut that. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> <laughs> oh no that's totally that's totally uh going in no please <laughs> all right, all right. I'll, I'll cut it i'll cut it all right all right maybe all right. <laughs> i don't no, listen cool. to my own episodes anyway so <laughs> oh I, I got you i got you oh no i have to listen to all mine because i have to edit it so yeah true it. true oh man um yeah i remember uh, it was one of those i loved it it was awesome i thought it was like so cool and uh even when i didn't remember everything i always remembered that you're the best <laughs> you know, the song is so good uh, <laughs> <laughs> but like i remember that one and um then part two came out and then after part two they actually had a cartoon it was like a 13 oh, episode I've, I've cartoon yeah and i was hoping never seen it yeah i i don't remember watching it either because i think it was on during at the same time as one of the other shows that i liked uh, on oh, saturday okay. mornings must have been on fox <laughs> <laughs> no it wasn't and i was i was like hoping uh that they had a christmas episode of the cartoon they don't unfortunately oh yeah it's kind of a bummer but well we are we already have our, our <laughs> we already have our christmas yeah, connection so it's yeah, okay so yeah it's good yes take that guys <laughs> anyway and uh, <laughs> but so uh yeah it was that and then part three came out and i'll i'll never forget this one time we were watching part three and it was at the end during the tournament when uh you know he's like on the floor and he's trying to you know he's just in pain and, and the, the bad guy uh you know barnes or whatever is just like yelling at him like i own you i own you you know oh yeah, yeah, yeah you know that part and i'll never forget we were watching it and aunt, with aunt margaret and she was like, why would he say I own you? That doesn't make any sense. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that like sticks out in my head. <laughs> oh my God, that is hilarious. <laughs> and then, uh, <laughs> and it's just, it was, you know, it's one of those, it's always been so cool. And then, uh, then they kind of, yeah. 
you know, the next Karate Kid came out and kind of went down a little bit. And then uh, the remake yeah, came out sure. and it kind of went but down a little bit more. we watched it a lot and... still. At least, I think me and David watched it a lot. I don't know if you did, but... The net, no, I think was... I saw it, like, no. once, and I was like... Eh, yeah. Eh. Yeah, um, it was always on HBO, so we... Well, that's, we I think it. that's why we saw all the other ones <laughs> so oh, many yeah, times, because yeah. it was on HBO. Yeah, true, true. Uh, you know, uh, like when he breaks the ice in part two, and oh, man, so good. But, <laughs> uh, but then Cobra Kai came out. Yeah, and, that's right. And uh, you saw it before I did because you had the Netflix or the, well, the, the the YouTube whatever. I got a free trial. It was like a, get a ten day free trial, or something like that. So I signed up just to watch uh, the Karate. I mean, Cobra Kai. Yeah. yeah, and I wanted to watch it, but at the time I didn't. I didn't really have enough time to watch it. So I was like, oh, right. I'll get to it eventually. And then season two came out, and I was like, okay, I'll get to it eventually. And then season <laughs> three came out, I was like, all right, I'll get to it eventually. And then finally. <laughs> about uh two months ago i finally got to it <laughs> it was yeah. eventually so yeah you know it's like uh you got to binge i did the, i binged 30, it all so, episodes in a row or whatever so i i actually had time to watch it a little bit earlier but i wanted to watch first uh i wanted to watch all the original movies again yeah so i did that i, I sat down watched one two and three and then i just started like every chance i got uh just watching even if it was only in like 10 or 15 minute increments just watching as much as yeah. i could um and so i yeah it was so good and i can't wait for season four <laughs> me either bring it on <laughs> oh my gosh yeah uh i was i i was lucky because uh i didn't see season two until this past december i had kind of just forgot about it and then i had yeah. an opportunity to see it in december and then literally like a a week later season three came out yeah whatever it was so i was like oh my gosh nice that's awesome amazing timing and yeah. then but uh then once i binge that it was on new it was on january 1st i think <laughs> it came out uh me and some friends binged it like literally the whole day and then then i was sad for like the next uh nine or ten months and I'm, <laughs> I'm still sad you're still sad it's coming out to it soon need some soon. cobra kai in my life by the time this drops it'll be uh it'll be closer so don't worry it's okay <laughs> it'll be closer <laughs> <laughs> you know yeah, yeah um so yeah i i just want to tell the audience beforehand that there's a lot of holes in my karate kid movie experience is um i don't really remember all of part two i remember the important things yeah uh you know the little girl on the pole yeah <laughs> i remember i am the man that will fight for your honor like yeah so good oh uh, it's still one of my part favorite three, songs part three i know i remember watching that with you guys uh yeah. and i remember <laughs> and terry Margaret, silver like this yeah there, i guess <laughs> terry silver like terry he scared, silver he scared the crud out of me like he's so scary yeah, well, because like so, Chris Daniel. Well, geez. like Chris was scary because he was just like in your face, you know. He's just like like this tough guy and take no no prisoners, no mercy, whatever. But Terry Silver was a whole different kind of scary. Yeah, because he could like just play the charm and like like yeah. really weasel his way in and get yeah. you to trust him, and then bam, he turns on you. Yeah, so I know exactly what you and his laugh, you know. Oh my gosh! <laughs> yes. Oh man, like the after um. When Mr. Miyagi like like beats them up, you know, and kind of rescues Daniel after he's kind of ambushed by Kreese <laughs> yeah. and Silver and, and Barnes. Yeah. And uh, you know, he's like covered in the paint and he's just like, There'll be Cobra Kai's all over the valley. <laughs> you're just like, Whoa, man, this guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's he really did scare me. Uh, something yeah. about the the look in his face, too. He just seemed like pure evil. He kind of reminds me of the guy from uh from the crow, like the guy with long hair from the crow, like with that, Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I know like who you're a, talking about. The bad I don't know. guy. He was also about a, that face, like Sir Guy of Gisborne on um in, in something the like that. Robin Hood movie. Yeah. yeah I know who you're talking so, about. Anyway, yeah, it just that definitely scared me. It also like I don't remember him blinking that much. Like I remember lots of just you know, just and I know physical bits always <laughs> physical bits always kill on a podcast, but he's just you know talking to danny and he just has a you know, yeah oh man okay yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah so it's yeah he definitely was a trip and then part three was also weird because they cast robin lively you know um i don't know if you remember her from teen witch but they cast her as like the the girl but she was like i think oh only, she was yeah. still young she was still a teenager and he was already like 27 or something at the time <laughs> Jeez. and so it was just it was kind of oh, awkward oh, wow. so 
instead of being the love interest they wrote it as like just a friend and so it was okay. just like a weird <laughs> yeah it's just like a weird kind of thing there but i mean it, it's still good i still like part three it's just you know <laughs> It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. It, ha- it has Mr. Miyagi in it. So yeah, you're right. It's good. Daniel son. It's so good. Oh man. <laughs> yeah, but um anyway, so wait, so what's what's our main topic? Are we, <laughs> are we, just, jump, <laughs> are we just gonna jump around? Pretty much, yeah, yeah. Okay. So so we're gonna focus on the first one, but we're gonna talk about everything okay. because you can't talk about karate okay, kid okay, without okay. bringing up like Cobra Kai. And I mean there's just yeah. so it's basically the series. Um, but okay. of course we'll we'll focus a little bit more on the first one so okay cool uh because this is going to drop right in that section where daniel was training you know from like november 1st or from halloween all the way until uh, <laughs> december 19th so it's perfect hey it works out oh yeah uh, the skeleton costume yeah 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 That's and right. he went as a, he went as the shower <laughs> you oh, remember <laughs> he's he, dressed in the shower wait. curtain he's like a shower curtain with like a bathtub or something and he wait i don't remember that yeah, at the dance, he's he's in the shower. He's he's like a shower. I thought he was a skeleton. Oh no, Johnny! No, no Johnny, a Johnny, and and the Cobra yeah, Kai are yeah, the skeletons. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. Because they used to scare okay. me when they were they caught up to him, and he was like trying to climb the fence, and he almost made it, but they like grab him, then pull yeah. him, down, and then they start beating the tar out of him. That's right. And it was just like, oh man! And after that, I was like, oh no! Anytime I saw a skeleton costume, I was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> ptsd for the skeleton costumes <laughs> oh yeah so um let me ask you this i have this kind of i have this theory that uh the whole reason cobra kai happened in the first place was from because of like all the publicity from how i met your mother with barney like, bring, bringing up uh, william zapka and constantly i don't know how many times he said it but i remember him saying oh like uh johnny the, was really johnny is the real guy, karate kid and, yeah and danny was the the jerk or daniel and uh i i think after that it took on some steam and then i know there was uh there was videos on youtube but i don't know what came first the youtube videos or the how i met your mother uh but i feel like after that it just got a lot of steam and then i don't know maybe they cooked something up but yeah yeah so uh a, a lot of it actually was because of um the how i met your mother bit so i guess in 2007 there's a band called no more kings that had a song called sweep the leg <laughs> <laughs> and so william zapka actually came out in it and uh of course it, i guess uh he's kind of playing like an over-the-top version of uh of himself as johnny you know just kind of like oh. how he did in, in how i met your mother also right and uh so it's like that plus uh plus both of their appearances you know Ralph Macchio came out and, yep, and uh, yep. so it just kind of was like hey you know let's let's go ahead and let's do something about this so they they got together and they decided yeah let's try it and <laughs> i mean it works i'm so and glad it, they did and it's funny because uh i mean like they like really develop the characters like so much yeah. more like there's so much depth now they're yeah. they're like real characters and yeah. i like how it's like gen- next generational and it really makes me want to see like other franchises do that as well yeah like i want to see the the goonies sequel with uh where they're adults <laughs> you know and and their kids are in it but you know they also have to explain like oh yeah we had oh, our own we a lot the of goonies. Though. yeah good point i mean but yes oh never mind i don't want to crush your dream it could happen it could happen <laughs> dear <laughs> or, well, uh, what i what i noticed immediately was um uh, like everything that you're saying and then i compared it to my other favorite uh, franchise which is star wars mm-hmm. and i'm not i'm not here to rip on anybody or harp on anybody and if you if you like the the sequels the more power to you and that's great but then you don't I know just, anything. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I just, I, me personally, yeah. I didn't enjoy the the I Star Wars yeah. sequels. Yeah, and I felt like they were lacking that same passion and knowledge of the characters and and the way they treated the classic characters. Oh, uh, it makes, Daniel, still makes me so mad. Johnny, uh-huh. Chris, and all of them. Like, I, I understand. Like, they're 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 also bringing in the new the kids as mm-hmm. the new blood or whatever but yeah. they're also like a heavy focus still on the right. adults which is what everybody wish, wanted yeah yeah i wish they had done that with star wars you know yeah me too yeah i mean you had like the the whole the original cast and you never got them back together yeah in, in a scene yeah. oh man yeah exactly I, okay i'm gonna move on because i'm gonna get mad 
So uh, <laughs> let's just keep going. <laughs> yeah, I and, mean, yeah. So, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Tr- <laughs> it's a, triggered. It's okay. Triggered. <laughs> Find a safe place. Find a safe place. It's okay. I'm already <laughs> I'm already recording in the closet, so it's pretty. Safe. <laughs> oh yeah, that is. That is. <laughs> uh, but seriously, um, yeah, it's like you're right. They they held um, all the characters with like. Um, they, they they treated them right you know it was like they they held them in reverence even though they weren't afraid to break them down mm-hmm. uh you know mm-hmm. and so uh i think they just they did a fantastic job with cobra kai um so much so that like even elizabeth shoe came back later on and, yeah and same thing with the uh, with the the, the characters from or the actors from part two they came back Mm-hmm. you know so and uh and that was good i liked how at first chosen was all uh like mean, mean to him and then it turned out it was just an act <laughs> yeah <laughs> so at, good. First, at first i was like come on there's no way like come on but then yeah when i found out oh he's just messing with he's him just messing he just, with him yeah he just really wanted to <laughs> honk his nose <laughs> back I, I don't blame him i would have <laughs> that's what you get for hunking my nose <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh man but yeah it's just like they they just they did it right and so it, like i want to see monster squad and uh like all the yeah. all these good ones but i'd like to see what oh, they wow. could do with them for real you know yeah monster squad um well go now ghostbusters afterlife you know ghostbusters 3 is coming so hey what be, oh, said, is that a thing yeah and uh <laughs> are they gonna do cgi with kurt uh, what's the name of uh, Kurt Rambis? No, Kurt Ramis. Uh, Harold Ramis. Harold Ramis. Yes. <laughs> okay, not Kurt Ramis. The basketball. I, his granddaughter is like in it. Oh, that's nice. You never, you haven't seen the trailer. Oh, you should go see the trailer. No. Yeah, you I'll watch see- it. Yeah, go go see the trailer. I don't want to be disappointed. Okay, well then, then you know it's okay. It's good. All right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. Sorry. sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. It's I'm okay. being so negative. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, to man. Cut that too. It's gonna be a five minute episode. Uh, <laughs> no, it's um. So I mean, it's one of those movies uh, in, in general, and and it became a series, of course, because it really took off, and people didn't think it was gonna do well at all. Mm-hmm. But it uh, and reports kind of vary on uh, how it was actually written, but essentially the writer Robert Mark came in. It was kind of autobiographical for him, so I guess he had been beaten up by a gang of bullies, and so he started learning like uh, martial arts. To, to kind of defend himself with that but then also mm. it was also kind of based on um jerry weintraub who told him that uh, he read a news article about uh, uh, the child of a single mother who also uh, got himself a black belt because he had to defend himself against bullies as well and so they kind of mm. like combined it and created this story and at first I, I thought it was really interesting that it was actually daniel weber but then once Ralph Macchio was cast, it immediately changed to Daniel LaRusso to, to make him a little more uh, <laughs> Italian. <laughs> I'm glad. I don't know. It's, it, I think that gives it more uh, charm and flavor. I, I don't know what the right word is, but yeah. No, I yeah, I get it. I get it. Uh, LaRusso. <laughs> <laughs> well, can you imagine if it was just Weber? <laughs> yeah. Daniel it just, Weber. It just doesn't have that same ring as like LaRusso. Yeah. It's, it's good. Yeah. It's a good, it's a good, uh, it's a good and it name. Kinda, it's funny because it's, uh, you know, Rocky was real big and it's, uh, yeah. isn't it the same director? As, it is uh, the same director. Rocky. Yeah. As Rocky. So there you go. Yeah. Another Italian. And uh, <laughs> he just likes working with Italians, man. Yeah. Uh, so apparently, and I thought this was interesting uh, before we get into it. I just, I, I just, I thought it was cool. So in, uh, in DC comics, they have the uh, the Legion of Superheroes set in the future, and a lot of them have dumb names like uh, you know, um, light Lightning Lad and stuff like that. There, there's a lot of like lads in there. I don't know why. Like I guess <laughs> lads a thing in the future, uh, apparently. But one of them is the Karate Kid, and so they had to get they got permission from like uh, DC to use the name the Karate Kid. <laughs> oh so, wow, that's crazy! Isn't that crazy? Yeah. I know. I remember. I, I always thought it was the other way around. I always thought the Karate Kid was uh, based off of you know the Karate yeah. Kid. I was like, ah, you're just using that. But nope, he came out first. Believe it or not. Dang. <laughs> yeah, I bet weird? DC regrets not asking for like just a little portion of a, per- <laughs> a percentage. Oh, I'm sure they got. I'm sure they got something. Yeah. 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 But apparently, cool. um, Coca Cola was also like they owned the studio at the time, 
And so there's like several product placement bits in there of uh, like Sprite and Coca-Cola and stuff like that. And, <laughs> and uh, anyway, I just thought that was funny. But so oh, that's awesome. I mean, I guess we can get into it. And, and as I kind yeah. of mentioned, if we nutshelled it, it would basically be, you know, the a, a boy gets beat up and learns karate to defend himself. That's like the basic nutshell version of it. Of course. Right. Of course, it's deeper than that because he he was from what jersey and he moves to yeah they moved to california to reseda to reseda yeah i don't know where reseda is but okay <laughs> Me either. sorry to all you listeners in reseda uh <laughs> I, I don't know where it is I, all i know is california so yeah, yeah. <laughs> feel free california to is huge i was me. Nice have no clue <laughs> california is pretty big yeah it's just uh so it's kind of like at the time, I suppose it's kind of like the wrong side of the tracks kind of a thing. You yeah. Know? And so it's, it's a little bit lower income. And so on the opposite side of that, he goes to West Valley High School where there's a lot of like real preppy and, uh, yeah. uh, you Rich know, kids. upper class uh, students as well. So he's a fish out of water, which already makes it <laughs> interesting. Uh, but then also um, he's he's just kind of wimpy and and nerdy and <laughs> he looks like he's 12 he looks so young he totally looks so young yeah he does the other and in fact he was a uh, he was 22 when he filmed it oh can you believe gosh. that oh my gosh <laughs> no i cannot believe that <laughs> he's 22 yeah for real and it's just you know um johnny was actually only 18 so wow yeah but that's so he, bizarre but he's like yeah. the, the there's big, a few moments muscular the... jock kind of guy and yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> but there's there's a few moments in the movie where it's just like it kind of looks strange next to elizabeth's shoe like his yeah. boyfriend and girlfriend because she looks much much older than him <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> yeah i always thought he was yeah like he was literally a young teenager nope <laughs> it's so trippy <laughs> you know we all we all have our our physiques i guess yeah and it is what it is but <laughs> yeah he's gonna age very well i suppose i think he's aged pretty well i mean he's, yeah. he's about to turn 60 and oh really yeah he's like 59 Dang. and i mean he's yeah he, he looks good for 60 yeah like, in cobra oh. kai he looks like he's like 50 maybe or like something like late that yeah. late 40s yeah wow yeah. I know. impressive most impressive <laughs> <laughs> but um yeah so he gets there he he, he sees ali immediately or he, he meets some friends and so they go to a beach party while they're and while they're at the beach party uh he sees ali oh, and, like they're yeah. like hanging out all day playing soccer at the beach like one one does and uh, <laughs> <laughs> casual beach soccer <laughs> <laughs> that's a t-shirt right there <laughs> i'm gonna make that t-shirt just casual beach soccer <laughs> <laughs> you know we, we didn't do we didn't do anything uh, i know you got a boyfriend just some casual beach soccer <laughs> 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 but, and, uh, but yeah so they kind of start you know they kind of start talking everything's cool and then johnny and, and the cobra kai's show up riding their their uh, motorbikes or whatever they are and uh, <laughs> so cool <laughs> they are they're, they're yeah they're cool man <laughs> and, uh, or what does it say they're badass you gotta be oh, badass. yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> classic cover. johnny yeah <laughs> watch iron eagle <laughs> <laughs> oh he says that in the in the new series right yeah yeah he's always watching uh what are your interests iron eagle iron eagle 2 <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah it's so good it's so oh, good oh man yes <laughs> uh, <laughs> which by the way is uh the main theme to that is sung by a band called king cobra <laughs> oh wow yeah nice so, yeah just a little tidbit Dang, there there yeah. you go uh, little easter eggs little little one to grow on Anyway, Christmas, and, Christmas, Christmas eggs, Chris, <laughs> stocking stuffers. stuffers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got you. Jinx. Yeah, I got, I got you. Um, me a Pepsi. <laughs> no, it would be it would be Coke for this. One. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Coke, Coke. But yeah, so I guess he doesn't like seeing Daniel with his ex girlfriend, and so he kind of picks a fight with him. And I, I guess he really just kind of first he, he like throws her boom box down because you know it's the 80s and they had boom boxes and, <laughs> and so 
so daniel tries to like stick up for her and yeah uh, see what, what happens does he punch johnny i think anyway they get in a fight johnny like gets him pretty yeah, pretty bad him good yeah but that like starts like kind of something with uh with Allie. with Allie, yeah yeah you know girls like it when you stand up for them i guess even if you get your <laughs> In, even if in, you get beat uh, up pretty bad yeah in, in movies they definitely do yeah <laughs> touche <laughs> yeah, this reminds me uh from i guess it was season one or i don't remember what season of cobra kai but he when johnny kind of goes through the whole situation again and tells it from his point of view oh yeah yeah <laughs> he's telling me gal right and he's like yeah he's like yeah and then he just stole your girl and <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah but i mean one it's not like daniel knew anything about anybody so how in the world would he have known that it was johnny's girl you know, know. or ex-girl know. whatever <laughs> i mean and then he just he just thought he was sticking up for a, a cute girl or something right so, i right, mean right. you know not cool not cool man <laughs> uh but yeah so, johnny was a hothead you know he is a yeah but can you blame the best he could jerry is doing the best he could i know we find out that uh his his mom had remarried and to like a a real jerk and uh and the only real father figure that he ended up getting was uh john crease yeah the proprietor of uh (laughs) big word there the proprietor of cobra kai he's the sensei there and their you know whole motto was you know strike first strike hard you know no mercy kind of no mercy and that was very appealing to him. Yeah. Since he was bullied and all he that was bullied stuff. bullied as well, yeah. So, you know, uh, and then there's parallels there with uh, Hawk in Cobra Kai. Oh, yeah. True, true. <laughs> Hawk. Hawk, man. <laughs> Such a jerk. I, don't, I, uh, so I struggle with, uh, you know, wondering if he's like the most awesome uh, <laughs> character ever or if he's just the biggest jerk ever. <laughs> I think it's a little bit of both. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's both... Uh, he's both awesome and a jerk and you, you love yeah. to hate him yeah uh, basically yeah but he's like the he's the new uh johnny kind of sort of yeah you know in a way he broke his friend's arm it's crazy oh my yeah the stuff so the stuff they did in, in cobra kai seems like much worse than <laughs> than the actual movies like anything that happened in the movie for real yeah i mean <laughs> randomly breaking people's arms and they like go to their house and like like just start i mean <laughs> brawls and br- yeah who does that man I know. that's rid- ridiculous uh, uh it's so ridiculous but it's awesome <laughs> at the same yeah. time oh yeah yeah <laughs> yeah and you're just like, get him so get him <laughs> <laughs> these little these little kids fighting each other I know. it's terrible oh, man. i know <laughs> All right, sorry. Let's go back to. But anyway, Friday so one. turns out they all go to the same school, and so Daniel uh, starts teaching Allie some soccer, and again Johnny doesn't like that. Yeah. <laughs> so there's a lot of friction there where they like really pick on him, and yeah. um, you know it culminates essentially in Halloween. And so there's a dance, mm-hmm. which by the way, in in the movies, there's been a dance at, at every single movie, which I think is kind of awesome. But uh, <laughs> <That's>, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, it's just a cool little running gag. But yeah, uh, it's I like, a Halloween I like party. Like that. Yeah, it's like yeah. a Halloween dance, I guess. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Um, and so the Cobra Kai's, of course, are all dressed as uh, the skeletons, and uh, Daniel goes as a shower. <laughs> <laughs> oh man but and it was fine i mean like like it would have been okay he, he would have been wouldn't have been noticed he could have danced with that everything could have been cool but instead he sees <laughs> he goes he's while well, in the restroom he sees johnny in there who's about to like i don't know smoke a J or something and so he uh-huh. like gets a hose and like sneakily uh, puts it up on top and man he, so this was daniel this is totally daniel's fault I'm, yeah I'm, yeah i'm calling daniel as a villain he had revenge this, on his mind so in this scene yeah well and he does he even tells mr miyagi later on he wants revenge you know yep uh and then mr miyagi has to like get after him and be like like hey what are you up to like like like, like what are you doing <laughs> <laughs> famous words of mr Miyagi. hey what are you up to <laughs> i'm so sorry audience i can't help it <laughs> we're going off the, off the rails here uh we're gonna have to have two more episodes just for part one <laughs> <laughs> but, but yeah so like it's just one of those things where uh 
he so he instigates and then he immediately runs away and Johnny and the Cobra Kai follow him. Yeah. And they do catch up with him and they just start like yeah just beating him up. Yeah. And one of them actually um actually feels bad. He's like that's enough Johnny, you know, he's had enough. And of course Johnny's just so mad and wants revenge as well. He's like I'll, yeah. I'll tell you when he's had enough, you know. And, uh, <laughs> and that's and then, not the body bag the cobra guy right no 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 okay. that's that's the other guy oh is it the the minister i think it's the minister yeah and so they're about to uh they're about to give like a bad kick to him when uh, mr miyagi like jumps in saves him and then like just beats the guys up <laughs> like easily no big yeah. deal he's just well because like, they 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 come to him though they try to right or so like he doesn't just go beat him up no i mean he like he he's just defending daniel like, okay, like he okay, okay. he jumps down from over the fence and like pushes daniel out of the way so that johnny's kick misses and then uh they're like stay out of it old man and then you know they like they try to get him and he just kind of defends himself yeah uh and then he so saves awesome. he saves daniel and um you know so he's like like well help me you know help me he doesn't want to train him. He's like, no, I'm not going to do that. You're just thinking about revenge. I'm not going to help you get revenge on these guys, but we'll go talk to him. Yeah. So, so they go to the Cobra Kai dojo and uh, that's when they, they kind of strike a deal. And, and it's, it's, it's crazy, but uh, he can see just because of what crease is teaching these kids that, uh, yeah, you know, that it's just, it's not good. They're learning like this wayward uh, path. And so he's like, okay, you know, look, don't beat up Daniel until the tournament. He'll be at the tournament and we'll settle it then, essentially. Yeah. Uh, of course, you know, in his own Mr. Miyagi way that uh, I, I won't <laughs> I won't try to copy, but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it's like it's, well, you'll hear it in the in the at the end of the episode, I suppose. <laughs> No, but you know, come ask, leave boy alone. You know, and, uh... that's freaking awesome. <laughs> what the heck? What do you mean you won't try to? <laughs> Whatever. It's like it's... exactly him. Not even. Not even. But, <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but I do have. I will be. I will be using that scene later on. Yes. Okay. okay. <laughs> Spoiler alert. You've um, been practicing it a little bit. Uh, <laughs> but no, no. So. Yeah, that's yeah. when that's when Daniel's training really starts. And this is where he and Mr. Miyagi start to grow. And I love it because he doesn't just become like his sensei. It's like his uh, I mean, he's like he becomes kind of his father figure as well, you know. Mm-hmm. And and so we get that parallel between Kreese as father figure and, and Johnny and then Miyagi as father mm-hmm. figure to to Daniel and their their points of view and are just so different and where they where they come from and it's uh i mean it's just it's really neat and it kind of shows you how having that wrong influence or that right influence can yeah. really change you and develop you as a person oh heck yeah yeah that's what that's probably one of the most appealing things to me about it is that like mr miyagi uh is very morally upright and he's so good at karate like <laughs> yeah. i don't know I, I don't know like that's just cool like to see the like the goody two shoes or the do-gooder i don't want to yeah. say goody two shoes but like the do-gooder is like yeah. also freaking amazing like and he yeah. can defend himself so yeah it was i mean it was just it's and the, the funny thing is they didn't even want to cast pat morita right uh, i think i think i've heard that yeah because yeah i mean he was mostly known as a, like a, a comedian <laughs> and uh, from happy days you know was, right <laughs> So like finally, he doesn't even could... have a natural accent, right? He no, just... he's no, he, he doesn't. <laughs> he has no accent at all. That's so amazing. He actually modeled it off of uh, both his stunt double and also the uh, his uncle. Okay. Yeah. So he kind of modeled the speech pattern, and so he grew the goatee specifically, uh, you know, for for this role because yeah. they didn't want to they didn't want to see him. So he was like, okay, let me change how I look, and maybe I'll get it. And he did, and he was he was great in it. Oh man, I'm so know, glad. Right? I'm so glad. <laughs> Yeah, I think David David might have also had Mr. Miyagi. I think one of us had Mr. Miyagi. I don't know that if it was me or David. Familiar. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know which one of us, but anyway. So yeah, so so this is my favorite. I mean, so it's a lot of people's favorite part, but this yeah. whole training, the whole no. training is not, I'm sure, what most people expected at all. Yeah. And uh, when I saw it, I mean, I even knew about it because everybody would say wax on, wax off, and stuff. Right. But the first time I actually saw it all the way through as a teenager. 
I remember yeah. just being so blown away. Yeah. Like that part. That's when I say blown away is that part. I was mm-hmm. not expecting that, uh, you know, for him to be doing like household things, which by the way, I hate household. Me too. Me too. <laughs> I, I hate like, completely... chores and household things. So I guess <laughs> that's why I can't defend myself. <laughs> 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 that's why i got bullied <laughs> <laughs> there you go um yeah it's it's uh so he first starts off he starts off you know waxing all the cars and mm-hmm. then he has him like sanding all the floors, the floors all the decks it's like in his backyard it's this long deck mm-hmm. um you know and big the fence. yeah you know and, and uh <laughs> you know, breathe in, in breathe out you know and all that all that stuff and then he has him, yeah, yeah, paint the fence. So it's like up and down. And the whole thing really is just to get him muscle memory. That's like the, you know, just to kind of get, just to get used to <laughs> right. it. And then, of course, paint the house. And it's like a side, side, side to side kind of thing. Oh, and, yeah. Uh, and then when the, the paint, the paint the fence, and then he thinks he's finished, but he wants him to do both sides. Yeah. Both sides. <laughs> Classic Miyagi. <laughs> Classic Miyagi. Classic. <laughs> Um, and he just like kind of thinks it's funny that daniel's like upset the whole time i know i would too (laughs) i'd be like "Mm -hmm." which later on uh daniel tries to use that tactic also with his students (laughs) (laughs) and they hate it and they hate it too and he's just he has that same smile like hey hey (laughs) (laughs) yeah but uh so it and he just he finally like his his shoulder hurts and he's upset and he's like i can't my shoulder and so he does that thing where he fixes his somehow mm-hmm. fixes his shoulder he's like how'd, how'd you do that and so then he we get that classic show me sun the floor you know and then and so then he like tries to punch him and he's or kick him and he's like blocking it by doing the you know all the moves <laughs> like big circle you know wax on put wax off <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's so good it's so good and uh but he so he does that whole training you know that whole thing and he realizes yeah. that he's been learning blocks and just how to yeah. how to just do these things um and uh after that he's much more open to mr miyagi's yeah <laughs> oh yeah i think i would be too after that Although I don't know if I still would have got, had the uh, the reflexes and the muscle memory to to do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That that's the only doubt I ever have uh, when yeah, I watch that too. movie. I'm like, come on, he wouldn't have he wouldn't have known how to react like that to all of them. I wouldn't. Uh, I would have yeah. gotten. I would have gotten hit so bad. <laughs> but I don't know. But that, yeah, that part right there is absolutely one of the greatest moments in cinematic history. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> Rosebud. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah so anyway so so what happens after that so then uh, he starts learning balance so he takes him on the boat oh yeah the music yeah yeah <laughs> we get all that he he uh he takes him to the beach and he has to just essentially kind of learn to to balance while the waves are hitting him full force right uh which is smart when you think about it because water is tough yeah, uh, but while he's there, he sees him doing that crane technique on one of the the uh, the posts there. Yeah, you know, on the pier. And <laughs> but then we get that great bit that like doesn't really have much to do with anything else, where uh, they're like leaving the beach and the guys are drinking and they have their bottles on uh, on their car. <laughs> <laughs> and he like you know he breaks the bottles uh yeah, with, his <laughs> with his hand <laughs> and he's like How, how'd you do that you know <laughs> and he's like don't know first time you know <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> <laughs> and, and i it's it's just so good <laughs> yes most of my memories come from straight from the actual tournament yeah me too uh, yeah. but what, well okay so you're the best around yeah no totally that part but and also the part where miyagi's drunk that's another one of my favorite parts of the movie like so the studio wanted them to cut that scene and he was like no oh, that's wow. that's like the scene and that's the scene that he thinks that that uh the director um actually believes got uh pat morita his nomination for an academy award because he was nominated for an academy award for this wow yeah, isn't that crazy? Deservedly, I think. I think so too. Yeah, but it's just this is one of those movies you really wouldn't expect for that to happen. Right, right. Yeah. 
yeah that part right there uh i again first time seeing it yeah uh definitely uh did not like that's not a thing of a scene that little kids talk about you know right so all i knew about was all the moves and all the funny stuff yeah but then watching as a teenager and i see the that scene and uh i think something about his wife dying or i don't remember exact the, the exact story but yeah so it was while he was um I think it was while he was um, in the infantry, you know, during the World War II, and it was uh, his wife died and son as well during childbirth, and because they were in in uh, an internment camp. Yeah, in the camp. Yeah, and so of course he went on to receive a Medal of Honor, which is like the highest award you can receive. Uh, right. You know, right. for in, that kind of thing, and. So he had, I mean, it was just, it was very sad. And that's why he was drunk because it was the anniversary of their death. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's just, I mean, that got, oh my God. That I know. So I know. Me too. Like, oh, as a kid, too, so... as a kid watching it, like, whoa. I don't think I really understood what was happening as a kid. But <laughs> well, as a kid, <laughs> later but, on, yeah. But I saw it as yeah. like a teenager. And so I understood. Right, right. And I was like, dang, like, it, it, he, he wasn't, see, that elevated his character just from, just the you know just the teacher the yeah the stereotypical teacher sensei to much more depth which i really appreciate it i did too totally but i had i had a question so so then in part two the Mm -hmm. woman that that from japan that happened all before yeah his wife that was his like love before the okay okay. yeah yeah that was like his first love oh okay i got you yeah and uh but i guess he ended up meeting you know he met his wife and they got married and then unfortunately she passed away um but they grow so close that he on when daniel turns 18 on his birthday mr miyagi gives him one of his cars (laughs) oh i know (laughs) which is i mean what are you kidding and he's like i got my license (laughs) (laughs) i was like I didn't get a car when I got my license, <laughs> but they let me drive the the truck and, and the Batmobile, the the Nissan oh, Sentra, yeah. the black cat. <laughs> oh, then no, see, uh, Casey. I don't I don't remember his last name, uh, but the tuba player Casey in high school he used to call it the Batmobile. <laughs> <laughs> By the time I got to drive it, it was the black cat. <laughs> oh, okay. Because it was just falling apart. It was just a bad luck car. <laughs> <laughs> Gotcha. Everything was wrong with it. You, I gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you had to shut the you're welcome. The hood. You had, to, <laughs> you had to shut the hood down real hard to start the car. What? <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't get in from the driver's side. You had to get in from the passenger Are you side. Serious? <laughs> okay, I had it so much better than you did. <laughs> the windows were uh if you, you you couldn't if anyone like came with you in the car, you had to be like, no, don't touch the windows, no, don't touch the windows. <laughs> You're like, ah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay, no. Was, I had yeah. none of those troubles. So uh <laughs> I don't know what you guys did after I left the college. You is what you did. I did nothing. I drove uh, the Batmobile. Right, it was well, the Batmobile well, when I drove. We'll blame it. it on David. <laughs> okay, I like that. <laughs> um what what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, but um that's the other I, thing. Like he gave Daniel the that car and yeah. he had all those cars and like how many years was he there like with literally almost no relationships with anyone yeah and so, like daniel comes along that's something to think about yeah you know what i mean like if he if daniel's the first it seems like you know he's the first person he's giving cars to yeah but he also gives him a, a gi you know to to fight in in the tournament and apparently that design oh, yeah. the, the bonsai tree on it is uh it was actually uh his mm. pat marita designed it oh yeah dang. i know right isn't that wow. cool yes so wow. uh there's just so many cool little things i was reading uh trivia wise i was like oh man this is neat and and that's cool and yeah. of course bill conti like took his yeah. his theme and then wrote a song you know and... yes that's insane <laughs> which they don't do it doesn't seem like like they do that much anymore that was huge it, it, that was like a big thing uh yeah. back in the day you know it's yeah. like uh, the the composer would would take some of the music and turn it into a song and then that song would become a hit you know yeah uh tootsie also they you know that's uh, another one there and yeah I, I mean there's there's like literally so many santa claus the movie is another one and but like it's funny because uh survivor uh so mm-hmm. so okay that that song you're the best by joe esposito was going to be used in rocky three 
Right. And then he heard I, uh, Sylvester Sloan heard Eye of the Tiger by Survivor. Yeah. And so that kind of got bumped. And so the Karate Kid took over, uh, took over, you know, that one. But yeah. then uh, Survivor also sung the theme song that Bill Conti wrote, uh, The Moment of Truth for the Karate Kid. So, da, 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 da. Oh, no, that's you're the best. It's the one that goes, um, it's the moment of truth. Na, 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 na. Oh yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. And that's the and that's the theme with the the pan pipe or the pan flute or whatever. Yeah, by Zamfir. Yeah. It's and so it's it's like a lot of these little just connections that are just so funny, uh that how they worked out. So the <laughs> you know yeah they um, don't really do that much anymore but yeah wow. that's awesome how they did it back then i appreciate that i do too they they should do more of that so you hollywood composers do that and uh <laughs> i we're, have no clout they're not we're looking at you either. hans zimmer <laughs> oh man don't don't even get me started on hans zimmer <laughs> that guy he writes the same thing Oh man, oh, sorry, I want to go off on a tangent so bad. It's okay, go for it, go for it. <laughs> well, I was just going to say, like, yeah, I I noticed that because I, I listened to John Williams' radio on Pandora, which they, for some reason, only play Hans Zimmer. Yeah. But um, when I listened to, like, uh, Gladiator and then Pirates of the Caribbean, and then yeah. there's a few other Hans Zimmer movies where I'm like, wow, this sounds exactly like this part on Gladiator, and this yeah. sounds like this movie and this sounds like this movie and... let's use lots of low brass <laughs> which i get hey i'm a low brass player i love it but at the same time it's yeah. like come on man get yeah. creative or something i do like the dark the dark night soundtrack a lot though uh it's okay to me it's just okay, okay. maybe it's just because it gives me the feels for the movie yeah yeah the movie's great yeah and, and, and the score is good too but uh, i mean with the movie but by itself it's just like oh, i can't listen to this it goes nowhere it's, it's just oh yeah I, I hear what you're saying yeah anyway so finally uh and this whole time oh okay so we got to get to this part so uh daniel is gonna go out like uh with ally he's already been out with her once at the golf and stuff and and all right. that but uh she's has this dinner thing uh and he's supposed to go out with her oh. after, the, after the dinner thing and he catches johnny uh trying to make a move on her but he leaves he, of course because everybody as soon as they see that they get upset and they leave in every single movie and TV show that it happens, and they never stay and see what happens afterwards. Yep. So he misses Allie punching Johnny. Uh, so to him, uh, it's just, you know, it's just Allie's kissing Johnny, even though Johnny is the one that tried to do it. Yeah, she, he like, forced she, himself. Exactly, and she punches him. But he runs into a waiter and gets spaghetti like all over his white oh, clothes. And <laughs> I hate that part so much. I do too. Anyway, so he's all upset with her, and he tries to go make up with her after uh, Mr. Miyagi gives him the car and he's like hey look you gotta you gotta i don't want to quote another movie here but i'm going to quote muppets take manhattan and say peoples is peoples and, uh, <laughs> so he goes you know he That's goes to make it. <laughs> so he goes to make up with Allie, and of course she's still mad at him because now she thinks i mean she that he i don't know you know you know that whole high school drama stuff yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. so um anyway they make up and this is where we get our scene at golf and stuff with the candy cane and the uh the santa <laughs> and there's some tinsel garland there's silver and gold tinsel uh that's in the oh background <laughs> i have no memory of any of this <laughs> well i was just i was watching it and it's just like that uh like that meme of leonardo dicaprio you know with with the with the drink pointing you know <laughs> oh my god that meme that was me like oh christmas christmas <laughs> <laughs> oh i think i do know the meme yeah 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 you know what i'm talking about <laughs> And so good find, dude. You, you're thank good you, fine, thank brother. You. <laughs> you were born for this podcast. I love Christmas. And, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, so they make up, and that's when uh, the next day is the tournament. Bum bum bum. Oh and yeah. He actually, uh, he actually does good, he, even though he's only been training for like forty-eight days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah but it's mr miyagi but it's mr miyagi yeah yeah he's got the wax on wax off stuff so it all works out it's like in star wars you know when they say how long was luke training with yoda and it's like well you know the force uh it's like uh, the, the, <laughs> the, you know the, force. the time on uh the time on uh on dagobah 
is like stretched or it's, there's a you know what i'm saying because oh force, so, so you're saying it's like, like the dilation. hyperbolic time chamber from dragon ball z <laughs> exactly <laughs> I and get because it. it's miyagi yeah and his uh miyagi do powers and traditions yeah <laughs> I don't, know what I'm saying. I don't know what you're saying either but i'm i'm all in so it might have been it, it could have literally been years is what i'm saying it's it's the equivalent of, of four yes. to five years what it normally takes a student to earn a black belt <laughs> uh <laughs> yes but yeah so he actually does pretty good he beats uh lamar from revenge of the nerds and uh <laughs> nice. um but then uh crease because he's a jerk and he just wants to win he uh, tells Bobby Brown, which I think is a funny name, Bobby Brown. Uh, <laughs> but he, he was like, he's the he's the one that becomes a, the pastor. And so oh. he, he tells him to like do that illegal kick to Daniel's knee. And so he yeah. does uh, to try to disqualify him. Right. Or, or, or to, you know, to try to get him out. Of course, it, it disqualifies Bobby, which is a huge bummer. I mean, like, what are you teaching these kids, man? Yeah, yeah. I mean, but... he's, he's all jacked up in the head yeah um oh wait uh but uh are you gonna mention that one fighter uh Vid- vidal the i think he's the guy in blue oh yeah apparently he, the uh the the oh gosh why can't i think of the name here the guy that um patterson i think was his name the who actually was in charge of the training and all that um the, the choreography he actually thought that he was such a good fighter that or Patty Johnson, that was his name. Uh, yeah. I, I knew there was a Pat somewhere in there, Pat Johnson. Uh, and he was so impressed with him that um, he let him do some of his own stunts and stuff like that. But I thought yeah, he's was... a, a real fighter. He's a, I mean, he's a real trained fighter and everything. And I saw an interview with him uh, on Cobra Kai theories channel, a uh, nice. great channel, but uh, he, he's still giving lessons to this day. He gives private lessons. To That's people. cool. Uh, but I think he also did some of Mr. Miyagi's stunts too, as well. If I'm remembering, correctly. I think you're right. Yeah, and he was uh, he did the crane kick. Yeah, yeah, when, something oh, like that. But yeah. yeah, he was he was a really good fighter. I don't think he was it was karate though. He was trained in some other martial art. Yeah, yeah. So I think you're right. That out there, but I just think that's cool. And and his name in the tournament is his same name. Hey, <laughs> his why real not? Name. <laughs> yeah, hey, if you're that good, do it. Yeah. Uh, but Patty Johnson came out with Bruce Lee in Enter the Dragon. He was one of the guys that tries to get uh, Roper to pay up. You, you know, one of the, the mobsters. He's okay. like, come on, okay. Roper, give us the cash. You know, that guy. <laughs> <laughs> or something like that. And <laughs> some, of the, some of the the voices in, in, uh, in Enter the Dragon. Oh, I know. Do you want to fight him so, without fighting? <laughs> And don't get me wrong, I love Into the Dragon. Oh, it's so good. But yeah, they're it's crazy dubbed in such a weird way. <laughs> anyway, so going back to the tournament. Yeah, so uh he beats Dutch. He you know, he beats a lot of these other guys. And uh anyway, he finally gets the semis, he's got the illegal kick, uh, which disqualifies Bobby, and so he he's going to the finals, but you know, they're not sure if he can compete and so the, he used that uh that technique whatever he does i don't know if it just like suppresses the pain or if it actually like fixes it yeah. i don't know whatever but force heal <laughs> yeah and so he's like takes on johnny and it's like this yeah. is it you know it's like yeah the whole enchilada here and, yeah oh my gosh I, mean, I, I remember being so like so nervous and so anxious when this was on you know, it's like, yeah. like what's going to happen? I mean, <laughs> it's, it's ridiculous. Of course, he's going to win. It's a karate kid. He's got to win. You know, well, I wish I had I wish I had seen it for the first time as a kid, because by the like by the time I saw it as a teenager, I pretty much knew. Yeah, I already knew he was going to win. Yeah. But uh, so I didn't have that same. Uh, there wasn't as much drama for me or suspense. Yeah, I hear you. Um, but so he. He does that that technique that Mr. Miyagi used on him when he was kind of dancing around and doing the punch, you know, when Miyagi had the the catcher's outfit on and, and, and that whole scene. And so he he does that same thing to Johnny and he like hits him, but it it causes his nose to bleed. So they, it kind of stops the match. And so he goes to crease and that's when crease says to sweep the leg. Yeah. yeah. And apparently 
you know, so he, after the nosebleed, he goes to to crease and yeah. creases, you know, he's he's kind of touching it up, wiping the no, the blood off. Yeah. And so when they were rehearsing the scene, so before filming, Martin uh, Cove was actually just doing it like in a normal, calm voice, oh, you know, like sweep the leg. And then when it was time to actually film it, he did it in that he delivered that really intense, you know, sweep yeah. the leg, you know. And so it startled uh, William Zapka so much that he actually but like that look of surprise is his real look of surprise. Wow. <laughs> That's insane. I thought that was his character. And uh, and he, so he's like, you know, he's like, you have a problem with that? He's like, no sensei. You know? <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. So he does that. Of course, they think that he's going to be out, but he does the crane technique, which, you know, no can defense. You know? <laughs> and, uh, I don't know about that one. I'm not that, so sure about that one. I don't right, believe my, that anymore. My bad. My bad. Uh, <laughs> are you talking about my accent or the actual no can defense? <laughs> no, it's, I'm talking about the, the that it's un, indefensible. Or oh yeah, because because Chosen totally defends it. Uh, oh, that's right. <laughs> in part two, so it's, that's right. It's definitely that's not right. true. <laughs> so why? I, wait, what? <laughs> Did they retcon that from part, in part uh, two? You know how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> you got to up the ante each time. You can't just okay, win with the okay, crane okay. technique. <laughs> Plus, I was you know, hoping he was... to teach him another animal dance. And, uh... <laughs> well, and that whole thing is completely made up. Uh, so <laughs> there is there is a crane pose in like like traditional kata and stuff like that. But that whole crane kick was just made up for the <laughs> you know, for the movie. I know. I'm sorry. I just uh, I just deflated everybody's <laughs> dreams there. I'm sorry. It's true. I thought it was so cool them. when I was a kid. I did too. I was like, I'm going to learn this. And I practiced <laughs> doing the crane kick. I'm sure I did it terribly, <laughs> but I thought it was awesome. <laughs> did you ever use it in a fight? <laughs> no, no. The only fight I was ever in, the guy punched me once and I went down, but I got back up and then uh, the bell rang and then we went to class and then he never picked up. <laughs> He never picked on me ever again. So I don't know if he was just impressed that I got back up or, uh, or someone like, uh, or, or someone, gra- I don't know. I don't know what happened, but uh, I don't even That's remember amazing. the guy's name. I did not know that. <laughs> yeah. I was in sixth grade. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. Sixth grade. There was a lot of fights in sixth grade. Those was heck yeah. <laughs> rough time, <laughs> rough times. But anyway, but, so he does the crane kick and he wins. And then Johnny brings him. He like grabs a trophy from the announcer and brings it to him. He's like, you're all right, LaRusso. Oh, I love and that. And that so gets much. me every time. Like yeah. Johnny's a good guy. He just was misguided because of his yes. jerk sensei. Yes. And his life. And I was like, oh, man. But that, that's like, so unexpected. Like I did not expect that at all because he he really doesn't show much of anything the whole movie until uh when he doubts crease you know right before he, when crease tells him to to, to sweep, sweep the, the leg. leg yeah and i was just not expecting that at all so it was a nice pleasant little surprise it, it was yeah uh, and again it shows that not everybody's good not everybody's bad there's a little bit of both in in, yeah. in most people and yeah uh, and johnny really was a, a good guy uh yeah. a lot of it was just kind of Hey, you're hitting on your on my girl, and yeah, you know there was just that kind of thing going on. He was immature, but, thinking yeah, about his emotions. Yeah. Well, I mean, Cobra Kai has shown us that he's still immature in his emotions. So. Yeah, well, he's, 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 he's getting, getting there. there. He's getting, he's getting there. there. Getting yeah. there. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the reason why, yeah, he was kind of the reason why Hawk went off the deep end a little bit too much, too far, I think. And a little bit, yeah. His methods yeah. in the first Cobra Kai season are like, whoa, uh-huh. like yikes. Push ups on your knuckles, you know. Yeah, uh, and making, you know, making fun of kids and stuff. Oh, yeah. Like, uh, <laughs> uh, like, I may or may not have uh, been sarcastic and made fun of kids uh, when I was a band director. I'm not oh, gonna... no. <laughs> not like that, though. No, not like that. That was crazy. <laughs> There's definitely a, a difference, a not so subtle difference. <laughs> no, but no, um, definitely not like that. But you know, I, I mean, I get it. Yeah. So no. Anyway, um, yeah, I love that ending, and it was kind of a rocky ending. So they they refilmed it to, and... to add because uh, I guess it was going to end. So in the script, that whole scene from part two where right. Chris confronts him was supposed to be the ending of it, right. and, and in the, the novelization, it actually is. Okay. Uh, yeah. Like, so they kept up in the novelization, but for the movie, you know, they cut it to where Daniel was going to be like carried off, and that was going to be the end. 
and it just didn't quite work. So then they added that that uh, free, you know, that close up of Pat Morita, you know, Mr. Miyagi just. <laughs> 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 and, then, and then they freeze right and then they freeze on Mr. Love the 80s freeze Heck yeah more <laughs> movies need to do it come on guys bring so, it back uh, bring back the freeze and bring back writing songs based on your theme <laughs> <laughs> i love the freeze yeah it's a good it freeze. makes me want more it makes good. me want more when i see the freeze i'm like no 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 don't freeze yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so uh, how, how do you feel about the it was an illegal kick or whatever that they were saying in, well, Cobra Johnny guy. Johnny says that, but Daniel explains like it's actually it is legal that it uh, okay you know it is full contact and so uh, there's only certain things that that are illegal and that wasn't. And he says like and then I, I don't know where I heard it if it was on Cobra Kai, but that they were letting illegal kicks the whole tournament or something. Someone Which said that makes sense. Also, I mean, like there are some games. Think about football. Think about basketball. Where like, yeah. there's like so many fouls. You're like, come on, foul! And they don't call it. You know. Yeah. Okay. So I mean, that, that totally makes sense. Okay. 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 All right. I feel better about it. Now. <laughs> yeah. Because when I hear anybody say that, I'm like, wait, what? Yeah. The whole movie's a lie. <laughs> well, then. So in part two, uh, it picks up, and and we'll just run through the sequels really quickly. Um, wait, wait, wait! Two... Are you sure you want to do that when we could do another episode? <laughs> we could, but there are other things I want to cover with you, like Super Mario, Super Mario Brothers, and a few other things here and there. All right, just think we, we about still have it. to do Home Alone two, you know. <laughs> so I'm just saying, I'm just saying, there's a lot in part two. There is a lot of part two, but we'll just cover it really quickly. All right, all right. So it picks up where he left off, where, where it's left off. Um, Kreese is attacking his Cobra Kai students for not winning. He like breaks his trophy, which I love is this cra- scene. crazy. And so Mr. Miyagi just can't take it because a teacher is not supposed to treat yeah. his students like that. And so yeah. he goes and he uh, essentially tries to defend them and kind of baits crease into punching him he just moves out of the way and crease like punches through a windshield oh my god his hand all bloody and cut up and so then he tries to the other hand and again miyagi just moves out of the way and he gets his other hand all cut up and so then uh mr miyagi honks his famous his famous famous. uh beautiful you know and he's like (laughs) he's like quotes his (laughs) yeah he's making fun of yeah and he like stops like right before he gets him and then he just honks his <laughs> which and then Daniel, uh, which Daniel copies later on, on and, Justin and, as well. Well, yeah, and then he he makes one of Crease later, which that's the one thing like that's sometimes I don't like about Daniel. Is Daniel, well, but Daniel's guy, always but been like that. Yeah, and then he's, he's always been like that. He's a jerk sometimes. He is. Uh, yeah, he thinks he is it's a jerk okay. Sometimes. So then he's a jerk to Crease and is like make telling asking him about his knuckles. Yeah, I think Crease deserved that that part, but. Some of the other things Daniel does, you're like, come that's on, a really man. strong word. <laughs> well, come on now. It's okay, a... maybe not deserved, <laughs> but I don't feel as bad about that part. As okay, I, okay. With, with some of the other things that that uh, Daniel has said and done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, so Mr. Miyagi gets word that his father's dying or or died uh, dying, and so he travels to Okinawa, and Daniel yeah. goes with him because uh, he just reasons. needs a break because Ali broke uh, up with him. Yeah. <laughs> And yeah. Ali broke up with him because <laughs> why Elizabeth Shue didn't want to come back or yeah well so she she took a break from Harvard to do the first film and she didn't want to take another break so mm. so she just didn't want to come back so they wrote her out uh, but while he's gotcha. over so over there it turns out that we find out Mr Miyagi left Okinawa uh, because of a love triangle kind of a thing uh, <laughs> and he, he didn't want to fight his best friend who challenged him over the the love of a girl yeah. You know how that goes. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's happened I mean you haven't lived if life. you haven't been in a love triangle with your best friend and challenge yeah. them to a fight. I mean, come on now. I was actually so, born in, in Tokyo. And... <laughs> <laughs> you didn't know that, but I didn't. I didn't. Yeah. I no, I was over there. here. I, I knew that. I knew that. Uh, uh, <laughs> so Chosen has a has a nephew who is a kind of the same way brought up in hating Miyagi essentially and uh, mm-hmm. and so there's a few there Miyagi doesn't want to fight his best friend so it kind of spills and over into Daniel leave. yeah yeah it kind of Daniel spills over and, into and Daniel Chosen. and Chosen and uh and Daniel has the new love interest yeah yeah the girl uh Yukio something like that no that's yeah, <laughs> no that's I think that's Wolverine's love it's interest. not Yuki but I think it's 
something oh uh yeah that's that's wolverine's love <laughs> love interest uh, mariko so, uh mariko yeah yeah you yuki oh okay. no, kubiko. kubiko kubiko yeah kubiko. Yuki, yuki is a <laughs> is the girl that uh mr miyagi was in love with oh okay 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 yeah 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 so that's a love interest there's a There's a sub theme of a little hand drum or whatever the thing is, and yeah, it's like it's, the drum technique is like a like a blocking counterpunch kind of technique. <laughs> and in, it looks one, so silly. <laughs> in one motion, it's like like a block punch, block punch kind of a thing, and uh, it does look silly. Yeah. <laughs> When Daniel's doing it, it looks so silly. <laughs> well, because you know he's, he it's Daniel, and if you notice, he he really doesn't uh, he really doesn't learn the technique. He kind of invents it himself <laughs> like miyagi never really teaches him the way oh he did the gosh. others uh, <laughs> uh, so but, so then uh miyagi is gonna leave because he doesn't want to fight Sato he doesn't want to fight and still, Sato but then forces him essentially uh to fight like he's gonna just destroy the village essentially if he doesn't oh right, right so right. finally he's like okay fine i'll fight you and while that's happening while they're both preparing That's when we get the the storm. The storm, yeah, and that fixes everything. Well, as storms are wont to do, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> you know, how many times have you have you seen a storm that just magically fixed everything? All, all the friendships and ill will, just, just you know. Anyway, uh, but there's a little girl that's trapped, and uh, yes, Sato's trapped too. So. Uh, when they find out that Sato's trapped, Miyagi and Daniel go out to help him, and his own uh, yeah. his own nephew won't because he was He's scared. scared. He's too scared of the storm. And uh, then they see the little girl, and so Daniel goes out to rescue the little girl, and Sato tells you know Chosen to go rescue, you know, go help him, and he doesn't. Instead, he runs away, <laughs> and <laughs> it's like. But you're already running. You're already running out into the storm. I know. <laughs> go help, man. <laughs> like you're afraid to, you're not afraid to like fight and use knives and you could like get killed in your fights you have but you're afraid of the storm i i guess yeah. it's i guess it's uh worse but you know what he watched poltergeist when he was little and oh uh, yeah the storm just scared him so he thought the tree would come to life or that's something. right he was he was expecting <laughs> that tree to come to life and get him <laughs> so yeah so then uh miyaki <laughs> and this is a This one I laugh every time when he he hits the the thing that's on top of Sato the oh, piece yeah, of yeah. wood yeah because he's trapped by <laughs> the a way beam, it breaks looks so bad it does look bad <laughs> it does look bad yeah oh, also man. if he I think if he were to break it because he he does it right on top of Sato yeah <laughs> if he were to do that he would have broken some ribs or something <laughs> probably like... yeah. <laughs> what they should have done was do it off to the side uh, so that then they could have lifted him off and, and oh man it's bad but no, I mean, you know what yeah, it's, it's good it's good yeah, he's the master he knows how to do it and not not break any ribs yes he's that precise yeah but daniel saves a little girl important <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and, yeah. yeah and so then we nobody knew to, back in the 80s that that was gonna no no that, an that was gonna come back plot yeah. element no in no 2021 but uh i i like it because then they decide to have the the big festival dance again that they hadn't had in years yeah and then chosen comes back and challenges challenges daniel, daniel and... because he feels his honor has been besmirched and uh <laughs> <laughs> is that is that it his honor has been challenged i don't know, I don't know. I, whatever <laughs> it's probably not the right word <laughs> be fine it's a good word <laughs> it's one of those funny words it is a road it's been Ruad, rowed, rowed, smurfed rude, his honor's been smurfed and, uh, so he's going back to go smurf daniel up and uh <laughs> i don't know what i'm doing now i'm just okay. i'm just doing random things in there and so that of course he gets into a fight with him he yeah or he's he's got a knife and he's like threatening uh kumiko yeah uh, unless daniel fights him so they fight they use the drum technique <laughs> and he wins and then he gives him a big old honk yeah and then he honks chosen and then the most important part of the movie happens which is 
Peter Cetera. <laughs> that actually was earlier. <laughs> oh, it was. Yeah, when they're when they're on their little day going oh, to see the countryside. Oh no, it's in the it's in the credits. Though, it's in the credits it? too, though. Yeah, that's why. That's yeah. why. I that's why you remember. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am the man who will fight for <laughs> honor. <laughs> There's not quite so many uh, swells in there, but <laughs> he loves the swells. That's Peter Cetera. Lives in the swells. <laughs> no so, one yeah, loves so uh... meant to be. <laughs> <laughs> so then so good. It's such a great two. song. So oh, that's yeah, part okay. two. Part three, they, they're back. Uh, Daniel's not going to go to college. He's going to use his money to help uh, Mr. Miyagi open up his bonsai shop. Mm. He meets that girl uh uh, robin lively he just has to have a new yeah but it can't be because she's too young and so (laughs) so. oh it's not that's right that's right yeah yeah. but essentially the the whole plot of part three is that crease wants revenge right so he calls his old war buddy terry silver war buddy yeah who who owes him and we we discover that crease saves his life uh, he saved his life in the war by volunteering to fight later on in his place oh that's right that's right yeah um so they yeah so this is this considered the of the three movies is this the the, the worst? worst one yeah even uh okay that's what i thought because yeah uh, usually it's like, like part two's worse and then part three's better uh when it's three movies like that but not always yeah, i mean t- yeah you know. as and I, I saw this one as a kid too and i i don't think i've ever seen it all the way through it at least as an adult but um so i just remember all the things that were scary like just so many scary things for a little kid yeah so the whole thing is they want to get him back at the all valley tournament they want to get him to to humiliate him essentially it's so insane like these are like adult men like in their 40s (laughs) and they're like trying to like i don't know what they're trying to do are they just trying to scare him are they trying to kill like he's like a child like he's right or is he 18 by this point he, oh no he turned 18 in the first oh movie, he turned so, 18 so, oh he did okay okay yeah so this is like oh, I guess he's he a man 19, so, so yeah. it's okay all right he just looks like a <laughs> now, child still. now it's okay it's okay now <laughs> it's okay now <laughs> I, I get confused because i mean he still looks like a kid yeah he definitely has a baby face for sure <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, so so, so their plan uh, is to get Terry. So Terry Silver, because Mr. Miyagi doesn't want to train him, and so the, right. they're so Terry Silver essentially it's like yeah. I'll train you, I'll train you to fight because that that guy Barnes he wants your title. He you know he's he's the bad boy of karate. <laughs> It's a bad boy of karate. What? He wants the Reseda. <laughs> the the Valley. All Valley. He wants the All Valley title, man. Champion. Yeah, forget that he's he's been in magazines. He's uh <laughs> he's he's super he's famous enough Reseda to be in is magazines. The karate karate capital of the world. <laughs> Apparently. Uh <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. So um Terry Silver starts to train him and uh, he starts essentially like like low key Cobra Kai Daniel. Right. And so Daniel's getting angrier and and a little more fierce and yeah. essentially it's kind of breaking Mr. Miyagi's heart cuz he's having to sneak around to learn karate and Yeah. Eventually it's it's revealed and I'm I'm really going fast through this one because it it is No, it's fine. <laughs> uh, well, the one of the times that uh one of the the parts that I that stuck that stuck with me that resonates is when uh, he's been training with Terry Silver and then Terry Silver finally is like gets him to hit like just wood or wh- whatever it oh, is. Oh yeah, yeah. He wants him just to hit it so hard and he's like yeah. cutting up his hands and bleeding and I I just was like, which was one of the requests what? of uh, of Crease, you know. He's, you know, he's like, hey, anything special? You he's like, make his knuckles bleed, and so he <laughs> he makes his knuckles bleed. <laughs> Oh, that gets me. Yeah. That's so yeah. messed up. Yeah. But so he, oh man, I, I can't wait to see him come back. It's going to be yeah. so good. But eventually he gets to the point where he, he strikes first and strikes hard so fast that he breaks some guy's nose, some random guy's nose at, at like a club that they're, you know, a dance club. That oh, they're at. that's right. And so from there, you know, he goes to apologize to, to Silver and say, hey, look, I'm out. I can't do this anymore. You know, uh, I'm not going to defend. And when he's there, that's when Barnes and Crease come out. They come out of the shadows. They come out of the shadows. But luckily, Mr. Miyagi somehow oh. magically knows where he is because he's Mr. Miyagi. And so he shows up. He just has in the time. force. I don't know why you, you won't just say it. 
he actually uses the force. He healed Daniel. <laughs> he force healed him. He, he might just be Yoda. <laughs> <laughs> they definitely have their both of them have their own speech uh patterns down. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they're both short <laughs> they're both uh, more defensive yeah that's true they're 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 not very aggressive um but he saves daniel again and he he's training with oh, him but mostly yeah. just like to center himself again and do kata you know the kata and just kind of really focus on not just yeah. forms but uh just like his, a way to kind of yeah exactly inside yeah yeah just just to kind of to get yourself back at, in like yeah. the focus oh they keep saying it in the in cobra kai like balance to find balance exactly exactly and so he's uh of course uh he doesn't have to fight at all except to defend his title at the end so he's watching barnes just beat the stuffing out of everybody and yeah which uh their plan once he's there because they know that barnes is better than him for real is uh yeah. just you know get win a point then lose a point and just basically toy with him until finally you know he uh he wins and so he's doing that the whole time daniel has a couple of points or whatever and then it's like what was it called uh just the the death match or no no like like that's it oh sudden death sudden death that's right it's just sudden death you know kind of a thing and uh <laughs> daniel freaks him out by <laughs> doing kata instead <laughs> he's oh, the, kata and, and barnes is just like what what's going on like what is, what is joker <laughs> what is, doing <laughs> uh, daniel's not even good man he just the only way he wins Your tricks is just by <laughs> with tricks to dis, to distract his opponent and his opponents <laughs> are too too dumb to <laughs> they're to like know what's, what's, happening. What's, what's happening here <laughs> what is this guy doing and he goes in and of course daniel gets him uh <laughs> he's focused enough he's balanced and so he's oh, able yeah, to, yeah, yeah, he's balanced, able to make yeah. it work and, yeah mike and, barnes was just using his hate his hatred yeah and uh and that's the, that's <laughs> the I movie see. so you're saying he's a sith <laughs> yeah wink wink he's darth maul that's the joke <laughs> that's the joke <laughs> um so it needs to be said that the next Karate Kid is actually part of the canon. Technically, because Mr. Miyagi comes out. Yeah. That's right. And I hope, I know you don't want it, but I hope that Hilary Swank comes Hillary out. Hilary Swank's not going to come out. She's going to come out. She's, <laughs> She's gonna, not going to come it's gonna out, happen. man. It's going to happen. <laughs> They're going to get her. All you get, it's on Netflix. You know, uh, It's gotten great it's reviews making, every single season. It's making a ton of money. It I totally think. is. I mean, Elizabeth so, Shue came back exactly i think uh, she's gonna come back and and the directors did confirm uh, or the writers or whatever they are that uh her, her and daniel did meet at mr miyagi's funeral oh okay well all right she can come back then i guess <laughs> look i i it's like i was telling you earlier like uh <laughs> if she does come back these writers are, are i have they're savvy enough that they'll make it they'll, not they'll make her cheap. good they yeah. won't make it a bad cameo or anything and right. maybe she'll even have a few episodes or something yeah i don't know well elizabeth shu came back in season three for a christmas episode she oh that's visiting right. for christmas ah oh yes <laughs> that's so, right that's a more there's a more solid christmas connection uh yeah which but, which for me was a it was a bit cringy when johnny met up with her because he had just had relations with uh <laughs> with uh relations <laughs> Miguel's talk, mom talking and about uh, the hibbity dibbity and right uh, yeah and yeah, uh, yeah. so they did that and then he goes yeah, then on he a goes date with up. Allie. I'm like yeah. what the, what? Uh, Ali was you know <laughs> it's like that whole first love kind of thing you know and uh, I know but I'm just saying look what just happened Come I, on know. <laughs> I know I uh, know so. yeah but it's good and uh, and Terry Silver is coming back so I'm excited Terry about that back. I hope Barnes makes an appearance as well. Um, Another thing is uh, Crease loved uh, season three. They really went into Crease's backstory and they did. It, it definitely humanizes him quite a bit because up to that point, you just think of him as just the stereotypical, completely evil bad guy, just right. all evil. Right. But um, they and they, they also they uh, put a lot of uh, like little tricks where they made us think that oh this is him from the past no this is yeah. him from, this is terry silver from the past yeah and no it turns out he's in the past he wasn't the jerk he was a guy who would stick up for people and protect people yeah so it's like what how did he turn into 
his his commanding officer. Yep. It was all him. That jerk hate him so yeah. much. <laughs> commanding officer. You know, yeah. tra- he basically traumatized Crease. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why Crease is still living as if he's in some sort of battle or war constantly. Yeah. Which is a shame because now he's turning a whole generation. Yeah. Two uh not two generations, if you think yeah. about it. Two so, generations, yeah. Yeah. So I don't know. I'm excited to see where it goes, but uh, at the same time, it's like, oh, I don't know if I can watch. You know? <laughs> oh, I know. I'm so yeah. excited. I am too. And, uh, it's it's so good. Uh, season two, uh, the 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 guy who said the put him in a body bag. Uh, oh, he died. Line, yeah. He died, and they made a whole episode kind of dedicated to him. And then at the yeah. end of the episode, he was put in a body bag. <laughs> <laughs> that's terrible that we're laughing at it but it's it's, it's poetic <laughs> he, he knew though i mean he knew before he died that they were gonna do that so yeah i'm sure he thought it was funny right. <laughs> <laughs> he had cancer i think or something he, like that yeah yeah so that's really cool and and it, they yeah, have you know true. he talks about all the people from uh from his little bike gang yeah in the, in the new show uh, there's the one in jail there's the minister there's yeah the, the one who died of cancer and then i don't remember yeah. who the other ones were but well, uh, yeah, I don't think no Lamar doesn't come out. <laughs> Lamar, <laughs> I can't. I'm still calling him his, his Re- Revenge of the Nerds name. <laughs> Lamar. I don't. I don't remember. Dang. But anyway, so uh, yeah, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Yeah, and so uh, I know that Jerry is very. He's got his mindset on not doing any more Karate Kid episodes, but never say never. You never know. He might change his mind. We can have and, uh, a a bonus uh, Cobra Kai season yeah. four episode. It can be. Yeah, it doesn't have yeah, to be long. Yeah. It can be short. We'll 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 uh, see if there's any. <laughs> we'll, Christmas, we'll we'll uh, dig a little bit more into frames. Cobra Kai. Well, the All Valley Tournament's coming up again in season four. Oh yeah, so that always be that always takes place takes place in December. And Daniel and uh, Johnny lived in the eighties, so <laughs> there you go. It's it's a continuation of a franchise from the eighties. It counts. Yeah. <laughs> there, there was an episode of Psych. Do you ever watch Psych? I, I love. No, Psych, I never saw it. There's an episode with it's all about kung fu, and uh, and <laughs> Sean, the lead character, who's kind of like a snarky goofball. He tries to like defend against uh, this kung fu expert, and so he does a he tries to do the crane kick, and he's like, "If done right, no can defense." And the guy just like totally. <laughs> Just totally like beats him up really bad. <laughs> <He's> oh, like... <laughs> man. Anyway, it, awesome. That always makes me laugh. <laughs> yeah, heck yeah. Well, actually, before we do the Cobra Kai season four, we're going to do the next Karate Kid uh, what? and, and uh, Jaden Smith remake. We we're can put them together. We can completely what? live the, the uh, leave the remake out. We don't need, we don't need the remake. It's not. Yeah, it's not part of the. It's, it's not, not canon. canon. Yeah, it's, canon. It's, it's that's an alternate universe. It, uh, right. it, it exists in the multiverse. And it's not is, even karate. No, it's not. It's, <laughs> it's not. Jackie Chan doesn't know karate. He knows kung fu. <laughs> it's in like, China. It's like Wing Chun or something. Yeah. Uh, or I forgot what it's called, but it's like a particular style of kung fu. It's not karate. Yeah, <laughs> so, funny. Uh, yeah, that always made me laugh. It's like, why, why call it that then? <laughs> it should have been the kung fu kid. Right, <laughs> I mean that has a K too. I think it would have been fine. Yeah, I don't know if it sounds quite as good, but it does Probably make me not. wonder. What would you say is your hap hap happiest moment or memory of uh, the Karate Kid? My hap hap happiest memory. I mean, I have, I guess, two. Like, like I was, I already said it, but like the the scenes in in uh, in Karate Kid One, they just they got me really emotional and emotionally invested and. Uh, the Mr. Miyagi scenes and the the Daniel training scenes. Like, I mean, just watching those scenes, I remember watching it the first time through and just, just completely being like, wow, this is amazing. Like I want to be Mr. Miyagi student. Yeah, um, yeah. So watching that for the first time as a teenager. And then uh, the other one is uh, binging uh, Cobra Kai season three on new year's day with my, uh, my friend and his wife. Nice. And just all 10, we're like, all right, just one more. All right, just one more. All right, just one more. And they're like, oh, we might as well just finish it. Yeah, and yeah. Just having a good time watching it and just being in good company watching it. That's yeah. cool. That's super cool. Uh, so I think for me, it was um, 
seeing the the tournament the first time and watching Daniel win, it was like, whoa, you know, he yeah. can do it. And I'm a scrawny little kid too. I can do it. <laughs> I can beat up my bullies at a tournament. Uh, well, it made me want to join karate. And later on, we I did, remember? You did. Well, yeah. no, it wasn't karate. It was taekwondo. But, you know, close Same enough. Yeah, I'm just and, joking. I'm, I'm just joking. Yeah. But. And then, uh, <laughs> yes, please don't. No come offense, after anybody. Us. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, Jeremy, our, you know, our cousin uh, started teaching me Jeet Kune Do a little bit, too. So that was cool. Ooh. He taught, remember, he taught me how to fight with the sides, like rough. Yeah. Like size. Uh, I was, was so awesome. jealous. I still have them. Size. They're under my bed. That's amazing. <laughs> it's like I was better. jealous because you got the size. David you got that little, got, you got that little wooden sword or something. Yeah, David got like a shooting star, or what did he get, or a sword or something? I don't remember what David. And got. I got, I got a wooden sword. And as a kid, I didn't appreciate it. I was not grateful. <laughs> but thinking back on it now, he was super nice to give me that. So. And it was it was probably a smart decision. <laughs> yeah, because I was really young. Yeah. <laughs> give me the wooden sword, not That's the. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I think maybe I think David maybe did get some shuriken or something. Uh, yeah, I think he got yeah shooting star. Yeah, that's cool. So that's cool, man. I yeah. dig it. And then uh, and then about a month ago, I actually sat down and watched it with Cece. So Ooh. that was cool. Yeah. So she liked it mostly because that's we had nice. been listening to the song, and uh, yeah, it, it's just best. it's so good. Yeah. It's so weird. <laughs> So, so one day i was like all right watch this so i showed her the video of the, of the tournament part when they're playing it like the actual on youtube just a little yeah. clip i was like watch this watch this so afterwards you know she liked it i was like well maybe i think it would be okay if we watched the whole thing and so of course you know we saw worse when we were younger i mean we watched like commando and, and you know yeah predator really and all that really bad. <laughs> so, so, so uh, I didn't feel quite as bad, but I, you, you you still have to talk to him and be like, well, don't say this. And, you know, yeah. this guy's not acting nice. He's doing this. But yeah, definitely. She knows. Um, but yeah, she liked She liked it. She liked the Karate Kid. So, yeah, that's awesome. Cool. But now we come to my favorite part of the show, which is oh. a little segment I like to call Gag Me with the Spoon. So this is where we do our best impression of our least favorite part of the movie. And so I'll let you go first as a guest. Just, just just set up the scene for us. What, what if the guest requests to go second? Do you honor that? Yeah. Oh, nice. Okay, I'll go first. Okay. <laughs> okay, yeah. All right. So I'm not really good at doing this uh, impression, but uh, <laughs> the same friend who I watched Cobra Kai with just many times, uh, we've seen Karate Kid 2 with Sato and Miyagi. <laughs> and when Sa- Sato... Miyagi! Is, like, <laughs> oh that's what i was gonna do <laughs> what no you weren't yes <laughs> all right do that's it do it do it do. you're gonna have to cut that out <laughs> okay okay good 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 <laughs> so, i mean i don't know the scene very well but i think it's, it happens at least two or three times when he's calling miyagi and he's a, he's very mad he's very upset yeah i mean you can't <laughs> there's no way to describe how upset he is at miyagi <laughs> and when he calls him he's like miyagi <laughs> <laughs> True. he's like growling yelling yeah. at the same time yeah so me, me and my friend would just always call back and forth to each other and then if he's watching he's like oh i'm positive come on come on come on let's watch this part together he's nice. about to save he's about to save <laughs> nice it's just so ridiculous like nobody talks like that <laughs> that's, that's good i like that that's good <laughs> um <clears throat> so mine and uh, you'll have to excuse me because I do. Uh, there is uh, a little bit of not appropriate language here, but it's when they go uh, Miyagi and Daniel go to confront Kreese at the dojo and like tell him, you know, to to lay off Daniel, and uh, and we'll fight at the tournament. And so you know, he Miyagi just requests, you know, for the boys to leave, or, or for you know the the gang to leave the boy alone, you know, to train. You know, so no fighting before mm-hmm. then. And Kreese says, <clears throat> excuse me here. He goes, you're a pushy little bastard, ain't you? But I like that. I like that. Oh, that's one of his, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's one of his famous lines. Nice. Yeah. I like that. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> that always made oh, me laugh. Yeah. Every time I hear him say that, it, it always makes me laugh. <laughs> that reminds me of uh, of Joker in The Dark Knight when uh, he's he's there at the dinner party and uh, with the... Uh, bruce wayne's oh, uh-huh. love interest uh-huh. and and he like has a knife and like she slaps yeah. him 
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember? Yeah. All right, you can cut this too. <laughs> no, that's okay. <laughs> you can have like five just, times and yeah. leave them all in there. Yeah. <laughs> all right, you can cut this. I'll leave, I'll leave quite a few in there. I probably will. <laughs> I won't leave them all in there. <laughs> nice. Yeah, oh, that's, man. That's, no, that's good. That's good. That's, that's good. such a weird line. Like, did, did they improv that? or? I don't know, but <laughs> I like that. I like that. Yeah, I'm, gonna, the I'm, way gonna, he says it. I'm gonna start to say that now for everything. You know, someone's gonna say, Oh yeah, have you seen uh have you seen the new Cobra Kai season? Oh yeah, I like that. I like that. <laughs> if they're a true karate kid fan, they'll know. They'll get it, yeah. They'll get it, they'll get it. <laughs> oh man, but you know, uh G.I. Joe taught us that knowing is half the battle. What do you think the other half is? Um, the other half is making sure that you have enough courage to climb up a pole in the middle of like a typhoon <laughs> and save a little girl even though your rival wouldn't so that way in 30 or 40 years when your company is going to get bought out or something like that you can travel to japan and meet your old love interest <laughs> even though you're married and then your old love interest finds the girl that you save so that she can save your company <laughs> that's that's what i was gonna say <laughs> not <laughs> not as long as that i was gonna do it more succinctly so i'm gonna have to use my back i, I picked two just in case okay okay because <laughs> i was gonna, i was gonna say is making sure to save little girls so they can save your company later on when it's in trouble but <laughs> i like but, uh, my version better <laughs> i think your version is much better <laughs> so, so instead i'm gonna say uh, i'll use my backup and say the other half so if no one's half to battle the other half is dressing as a shower for halloween if you don't want to be seen <laughs> the other half is, I, don't know, uh, I don't know if that really works but <laughs> but i like it i like it <laughs> oh man danny uh it's so so much fun uh talking with you always um final thoughts uh yeah just um sorry to again to the audience i I didn't I didn't do any prep work for this so I don't really remember <laughs> I mean I didn't really remember part 1 or any of them that well so I was just going off of my memories but uh hopefully it was uh helpful I mean hopefully it was entertaining <laughs> <laughs> I think so we had some fun <laughs> but at least me and Jerry were entertained so Yeah <laughs> yeah Everybody loves a karate kid they'll listen okay. <laughs> You know what? As as long as it download, as long as they press play, it counts as a download for my numbers. So that's no, right. Oh, kidding. I do want. I hope say, everybody. Uh, I hope everybody enjoyed it for real. Yeah, but. definitely. But <laughs> I, I do want to say that if you get a chance, check out the the Karate Kid episodes of the soundtrack show. Yeah, uh, those are good. Uh, if you are into the music part of it, because yeah, it's... Bill Conti, he d- he did a great job here. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Who was it? it? Was Zamfir right? That plays the pan pipes. I remember I, I remember so. they have like the infomercials about him and you can buy his CD or his record or whatever it was. His tape. Yeah, that's that's why they got him because he was real popular, I think. <laughs> he was real popular at the time, so they recruited him to be in the movie or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's my best uh, pan pipe impression. So <laughs> sorry, sorry y'all. Oh man. But on that note. Uh, Danny, thanks again. I love you, bro. Thanks for coming on. <laughs> love you too, brother. No problem. And uh, for the next one. Yep, yep. We're going to cover Mario and we're going to cover Home Alone 2 this season as well. So That's right. stay tuned for those. Anyway, but I'm going to end it by saying, uh, man who can catch fly with chopstick, accomplish anything. So check us out on our social media pages, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And if you're feeling like Daniel beating Johnny and earning his respect, Leave us a review on iTunes. Not only does it help us reach more people, but you also get a free sticker. Now, don't forget to check out our merch shop on tpublic.com. Later, dudes. Do you like podcasts about Christmas? Uh-huh. Do you like podcasts about movies? Uh-huh. Well, we have a podcast for you. I'm intrigued. I'm John. And I'm Ben. And we're the hosts of Santa by the Minute. The only podcast that breaks down 1985's Santa Claus the movie, one minute at a time. The holiday classic starring John Lithgow. It certainly should be. <laughs> Dudley Moore. Isn't it self-explanatory? I'm an elf. An elf? Yes. And David Huddleston. Hold on tight and don't worry. You'll be as safe here as you are in your own home. You won't want to miss as Ben and I talk about one minute of the movie every single week. Stop! Are you insane? We post a brand new episode every Wednesday, and every episode is... For free!